Okay, we are live. Okay. you guys have any questions or want to talk about anything at all, I am here and we're going to have fun. Uh, if you guys want me to sing any songs too, I'm going to sing some of my songs, but we can have fun. We can do whatever we want because they gave me their Facebook and I'm going to do whatever I want. <laughs> so, but yeah, I appreciate Kalo so much. Just a little bit about them before I, I sing some more. They are absolutely Incredible. For those of you that don't know who I am, um, I'm brand new to all this. Uh, you may have heard my song No Hope of Soul on K-Love, and that was like my first song I ever released, and K-Love has been such an amazing partner in all this. They have really championed that song and given it a life. And it's, you know, they gave me my first experience of, of hearing uh, my song on the radio, which was awesome, and I wanted to cry, and I started dancing. But, um, yeah, I just, I, I love everybody over there, so, and I can't thank them enough. So, yeah. But, yeah, if you guys have anything, any questions at all, oh, my gosh, Greenville, Alabama, you're, like, right over there. Awesome. So glad to see you guys. My six-year-old's favorite artist. Awesome. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to sing some more. If it's okay with you, I'm going to sing my favorite song of all time. Here we go. Can you guys hear me okay? Does everything sound fine? If not, just let me know. When the night is 
is calm and the land is dark and the moon is the only light we see no I won't be afraid no So darling, darling, stay by me, oh, stay by me, won't you stay, won't you stay, stand by me, when the sky we look upon, No hopeless soul now, or I can do it later. Just whatever you guys think. But um, yeah, let's do no hopeless soul. Just not in that key. Sorry, my room looks strange. I don't know why it looks like this. It just looks all grainy, and it looks like I'm like in a 3D movie or something. Try to take place inside your mind and won't let you go. Do you feel under attack? Like a chain is on your back. Every breath hurts so bad, steals your hope. But God don't make no mistakes. Nothing he can't erase. Nothing he can't harm you. Never gives up on you. Cars, no one's too far gone. Don't you know there ain't no other cell? You still belong to the God who stays with you. you. Won't let go, there ain't no other soul. Let your eyes see the light, let your hands be sanitized, let your soul be unified by perfect love. God don't make no mistakes, nothing he can't erase, nothing he can't undo, never gives up on you. Oh, there ain't no lost cause, no one's too far gone, don't you know, there ain't no hopeless soul, you still belong to the God who stays with you, you won't let go. Calling, mercy is calling, calling your name, calling your name. Mercy is calling, mercy is calling, calling your name. Oh, there ain't no lost cause, no one's too far gone. Don't you know? 
there ain't no hopeless hope you still belong to the God who stays with you Won't let go, there ain't no hopeless hope Chicago. I hope so. I hear you guys have an amazing pizza. And I would love to. Tucson, Arizona. I was just there. Um, we filmed a video for uh, a song. And I love Arizona. Oh my gosh. I want to go back so bad. Kingdom Bound. Yes, it got postponed. Bummer. Huge bummer. I was so excited. But I think I'm gonna be there at the one that they like that they reschedule it to. So yeah guys. So I've never uh, I haven't played this song yet on the piano, but I just released this one. And it's called uh, Hurts for You. And it's got kind of this crazy story behind it. Um, so one of my best friends of all time, he called me up one day. And it had been a minute since I talked to him, and um, but it wasn't abnormal for him to call me. But he did, and he said, hey, um, so I think I want to get my life on track. Also, I, I think I want to follow Jesus um, and really devote my life to him. And I was like, that's the coolest phone call ever. And um, so anyway, the next day, I, I go to his house. And we just sat down. We didn't plan on it. We just wrote this song. Uh, we sat down and wrote this song. And, um, and now he's actually in my band and he's playing drums for me. And it's been such a cool experience to, to see him go through this growth and this song kind of come out of it. Um, I've never played this on piano, so forgive me. But I'll just play a bit of it. If I can find my sustain pedal. Cause you're feeling buried So many heavy days to carry Silver linings always hiding Sometimes you gotta fight to find them When truth feels like it's missing God's to pay attention You ain't gotta figure it out God knows it hurts you
face hurts for you. Awesome, guys. I want to read some more comments. This is my first time here. Well, welcome, Karen. Nice to meet you. I'm not normally here. This is just like, hopefully it's a multi-time thing. I hope they have me back. But. Oh, awesome. There's a lot of like first timers here. So cool. Tucson is having monsoon season right now. Awesome. Okay, yeah, well, I'll be thank you guys. That's great. Kimberly on Wi-Fi. Thank you so much. I played it before. I can play a little bit more of it again for any of you guys um, that didn't hear it before. I played that one first, but I can do it again. Why not? Sometimes I can hardly sleep Sometimes fear gets crippling It's like I'm slipping away It's like a sweep after wave And I am barely treading Sometimes I can My thoughts get so deep And I sink into them like water But you reach for me When I cannot go any longer I already know that I could never make it On my own You call my restless mind You love is my I love singing that one. That one was like, there's actually a strange story behind that one. So it's it's really about, you know, struggling with, with anxiety and, and depression and also like a lack of sleep, which at that time, that was definitely me. Um, and this guy, Colby Wedgworth, who's an amazing songwriter. Uh, he's worked with people like, um, all kinds of people, he's amazing. Um, anyway, normally, I'll, I'll like present an idea of this to another writer and we'll kind of work on it together. But that was uh, one, one instance where somebody actually like sent me a song and just to see if I would like it. And he sent me that song and it like blew me away. It was exactly what I was going through in that moment. And you know, it was, it was a lack of sleep. It was, it was this sense of just, God, I need you to, to help me right now and, and be with me in that moment and yeah I love that song and um, yeah it's one of my favorite songs to sing I love it and I've, I've only gotten to play it live you know for the first time really recently and it's really fun I love it well guys if you have anything sure Joshua yeah I can definitely do that So, um, yeah, I can share my testimony kind of in, in a nutshell. Um, I'll kind of tell the short version. So I, I grew up as a pastor's kid, and um, I believe that I accepted Jesus um, when I was at a young age. And I, I think that happens a lot you know, with pastor's kids um, or people that grew up in the church. It's, it's a young age. And I, I know I believed in Jesus when I was young. I know that I trusted in Jesus, but there came a point when I got a little older, when I was like 16, 17, where I started questioning um, and having certain questions, and I had to go through and, and sort of figure out a lot of things, and I was just like, do I believe what I believe because I believe it, because the Holy Spirit is in me? Um, or do I just believe because it's it's my family? So I had to I had to wrestle with that question. And one day I was at a worship event, and I basically right before I went on stage to lead worship. This was when I was about seventeen. And right on right before I went on stage, I was like, God, I if you're real, I, I need you. I need you. Just reveal yourself something. 
you know, one of those prayers where it's like, goodness, I, I, need, I need a sign, almost. And that night, I went on stage, I was leading worship, and the speaker at the event, he walks up on stage in the middle of a song, and he goes, he looks at me, like, while I'm singing, he, like, stops me from singing. I'm still playing, the band's still playing behind me and everything. And he's like, are you okay? And I was like, mm, yeah. But he could tell I was, like, not <laughs> being, being real. And he began to pray for me. And everything he was saying was exactly what I was going through in that moment. And it was stuff, literally the whole prayer was just about faith. Um, and later, I was like, that, that, was, that was the sign I needed. I needed somebody to talk to me. And, you know, from that point on, that's when I really, you know, started to understand the gospel and what that really means. And understand that when you're a person that, that is saved, it's, it's salvation and it's, it's faith in, in Jesus and the gospel. Um, and, and that's honestly when I knew what I wanted to do with my life is I didn't necessarily, I love leading worship at my church, but I, I wanted to write songs that hopefully can reach people, you know, that maybe don't have faith, um, as well as encourage people that do have faith. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my short version of my testimony, but thanks for asking that. I, I don't think I've ever shared it, I've maybe shared it publicly only like two or three times, so that was fun. Oh my goodness, there's so many people from Tucson. Oh no, that's the same. <laughs> That's the same. This is hilarious. I'm sorry. I believe before I even knew believed. I went to church. That's awesome. Very cool. Awesome. But yeah, I, I heard this one thing um, that was really cool is is don't rely on somebody else's experience um, for for your own faith. You know, have your own. Pray. Ask for ask for God to intervene. And I love that. You know. But yeah, guys. Uh, I wanna sing I wanna sing some more songs. If you guys want me to like I, I do a lot of covers and stuff. If you guys want me to cover anything, I can do that. We've got probably about six, four minutes here. What are some of my musical influences? Everything. Um, I love Motown, I love Switchfoot, I love Need to Breathe, I love um, Justin Bieber, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not apologizing. <laughs> but I love, I, I grew up with everything. You know, there was, there was nothing. My dad loved um, 80s, 70s and 80s music. Um, so a lot of like Bon Jovi journey uh, influences are in there for sure. But it's really everywhere. There's no genre of music. You know, I, I love like Willie Nelson, you know, country music as well. So there's, there's nothing off limits for me other than like, Maybe I'm sure there's some stuff, but <laughs> but I like a lot of things. Can I play Know My Name? I don't know if I know that one. Can I sing Heal? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do Heal. That's my, actually my song. I'll sing a little bit of that one, and then I, I want to do Oasis real quick before I leave. Okay, here we go. I needed help. He had my back When I was alone I visualize you hurt So when I see you hurting Do you need me there? I'm gonna get you through this To the other side Cry those tears, feel that heartache. It's such a painful fight, but I know you'll be alright when there's fear. Fall back into fear, cause it might take some time to heal. It's gonna be okay. Take some time to heal. There's heal. That one. There is a story behind that one, but um, I'm not ready to tell the story behind that one yet. 
that one will be a while. Um, but yeah, that that one is probably with heel. I don't think I've ever been in a more like emotional state than in that one. Um, but I, I love singing that song. That that song's probably um, at concerts and stuff. That's my favorite one to play live. I love that one so much. Um, okay, so I've got a few minutes here. I want to tell the story behind Oasis, uh, this song that, that came out a few months ago. So I wrote it in my car. I didn't like, I wasn't texting and driving. Don't do that, kids. But um, basically, I was on the way to Florida. I got to Florida, and this church had hired me for a whole week, and I was going to do um, one event per day. I think they were like going to give me a hotel room, and they were going to, you know, uh, they were going to pay me. Um, and, you know, this is what I do for a living. This is how I, like, you know, put food on the table and take care of me and my wife. So I was like, you know, I went to go do it. And anyway, so I, I get there, and they're like, so you're actually going to do four events per day. Um, you're going to, like, travel around and go to schools, and uh, which is fine. I was fine. I was like, okay, all right. I'm used to this. I, I can do. I can do that. But it is a lot to do four events per day. You know, playing and singing. It, it'll wear you out. It also like. Also, there's no like hotel. You're gonna stay with the pastor. And again, I was like, okay, that's fine. And they were like, but he doesn't believe in air conditioning. I was like, oh, okay. It's August and it's Florida. And if you guys have been to Florida, August is not a good time to be in Florida. Uh, if you're going to Disney World. I'm sorry for all the Floridans, but it's hot there. It's like hotter than here in Atlanta. So I was like, oh, okay. So I had like, I think I went to Walmart and bought a fan just to like blow hot air on my face. So I, I did, I did this, I did the whole week and we had like agreed on like I was going to get paid. I don't remember what it was, but it, it was fair. I was going to be able to, you know, pay my gas on the way home and, and buy groceries when I got back home. So at the last event of the night, pastor gets up and he's like, now, Stephen didn't come here for a set price. And I was like, oh, okay. So I was like, oh, okay. So I, I'm like, I just kind of calmed down a little bit. He's like, we're going to take up a love offering. I was like, as you do, you're going to do that. And they took up the love offering. And as I was leaving, it, it's not about money. It's not. But I do have to, like, take care of my family. And anyway... I'm in the car, driving home, and I open it up, and it's a hundred dollars. It was like a hundred and fifty dollars, and I was like, "Oh, that's great!" And uh, that doesn't cover gas, you know, or anything. Which, uh, you know, it's ministry, but I need food. I have to eat. I'm a hungry boy, and <laughs> so you can imagine all the emotions I'm feeling. And on the way home, I just sorry if I'm going over, guys. Um, I'm voice memoing this song on the way home. And this is called Oasis. Uh-oh. So much buildup to no piano working. Ain't that just special? I'm sorry, guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, let me answer some questions while I get this computer working. <laughs> Watching from Minnesota. Can you sing the whole songs you wrote instead of just part of them? I can't do that. Sorry, I'm only doing half a song. I don't have much time. Okay, I'm going to do one more. I think I got the piano fixed. I'm so sorry, guys. It's so unprofessional. Okay, guys, I think I'm done. <laughs> but again, before I leave, um, Caleb, I, I can't thank you guys enough. Um, I got, actually got to meet a lot of people over there a few weeks ago, and they are the kindest, most welcoming, um, hospitable people I've ever met. <laughs> they really are amazing, and thank you guys for letting me do this. I'm so sorry my piano is broken and not working, but again, thank you for having me, and I will see you guys very soon. <laughs>